India is one of the youngest nation in the world. 57 percent of our population is below 35 years of age, which is almost more than a half a billion people. Unless we empower them with education and skills, they can also become the most destructive force. Part of our country is suffering from unemployment which leads to terrorism. It is only because the youth is not empowered with education. The government of India is trying its best, but I do not think they can do sufficiently to meet this challenge. What is also happening is that most of our youth is also going to foreign countries, advanced countries like America, UK, Australia, New Zealand to get high quality of education because they feel that educational institutions in India are not in a position to provide that high quality of education. But there are a lot of people who cannot afford to go abroad, but they also want to have this kind of quality education. When I was at the height of my success in real estate, I thought that probably I should now do something to bridge this gap of quality education. I visited most of the coveted universities and institutions in the world in the United States in UK and found that most of these institutes take pride in the fact that they have the best Indian teachers, faculty members or research scholars. They also took pride in the quality of their Indian students. Now if Indian students and Indian scholars and teachers and faculties are making these institutions of world standard great, why can't we replicate the success in our own country? It is only a matter of building a proper educational environment and attracting these people to come and study in our own country. Here we can actually provide this kind of high quality education at a fraction of the cost. So with this idea we started iLead and we found that we are progressing towards our dream and we are actually able to make this happen. Now one more thing we do in iLead is that we try to ignite passion in all our stakeholders whether they are teachers or whether they are students, non-teaching staff or other stakeholders because we strongly believe that it is only passion which can drive to excellence. When you are passionate, you are driven by a purpose in life, you discover all the faculties, all the skills, all the capabilities which otherwise are lying dormant come on surface and you also find that the whole universe start conspiring to help you with resources which you require to achieve this dream. We have seen this happening and we are confident that this will happen. Our dream is to make iLead a world class institute. I keep on telling all my stakeholders that I every day pray to God that before I die if I see an incidence when a person or a student having got a job or admission in a coveted institutes like Harvard, Cambridge, Oxford decides not to go there but decides to come to iLead. That day I will feel that my life was not a waste, it, has, it had a purpose and it was worth living. I remember an incident when, uh, when Thomas Jefferson was asked what he would like to write on his epitaph on his tombstones. He said the first thing or my I consider my greatest achievement in life is being the founder of the University of Virginia. My second most important achievement was being the author of the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights and I do not want to be remembered as the President of United States because being President is not so important as being the founder of a university or being an author of a declaration of independence or for that matter any important document. I would also therefore like to be remembered as a teacher or as a founder of an educational institution rather than a developer or a builder. Therefore, I think I lead is my most coveted ambition and I just call upon everybody that please come 
and join this movement because we do not consider this as a project or as a project which will get completed sometime. It is actually a project on the move, it is kind of a movement which probably when Gandhi wanted our independence, he started and everybody pitched in. I do not want that this should stop in one building or one place or one institute. This is kind of a fever which I want to spread like a wildfire and I would like also that the other institutes also get inspired in the same fashion and take the entire ecosystem of Indian education to the next level. And we reach to a point which we had when we had coveted universities in our country like Nalanda or Takshila when the world wide the students used to come to study in, in India because they were one of the finest universities in the world. That is possible we can again create such universities in our country where the foreign students the best of the students will come here and study in our universities. At one time also after independence we had such universities like Calcutta universities and Banaras Hindu University where a lot of foreign students used to come and study. I think the time has come then we all should join our force together and bring back that glory of Indian education back so that not only we will be serving our own students but also the students of the neighboring countries and students in the other countries who cannot afford high cost of education because we are in a position to provide a very high quality education at an affordable cost.